Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I don't think 6-6-6 six six, six 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 here is the level that I thought it was. Because the level that I was thinking of has a secret exit and obviously, as I said before, World 6 does not have any secret exits whatsoever. Hello there little chain chomp, I'm gonna, I'm gonna free you here. And thank you for the pocket change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Chain Chomps, they aim directly for you, as you can tell by their body language. And I think there's a power-up down here. Yeah! It's kind of funny that with this level, though, is that I tend to get coin number two before I get coin number one. Just by the, the way the level structure is, like, it's easiest to go up and over there. That, that's coin number two right there. I'm going to be back to explore the other stuff there, but... Uh, uh, like you see on that in the upsea coin number two and if you go down here there's coin number one it's just so easier I mean it's much much easier to get down to it from above than it is to go through the the Koopa brigade <laughs> and those uh, blocks look like an exclamation point of sorts so maybe that was a hint that there is a block at the uh, bottom of said structure perhaps maybe who knows uh, is there anything beyond why are you there then? Are you just there to guard that little hole that you can go in underneath there? I, I, I guess so. Oops. <laughs> anyway, as you can tell, this is a very vertical level, so uh, try not to fall. Try not to fall down too quickly. Uh, actually, wait. I think this one at the end of the block wall here contains coins, so I should be ground pounding it rather than spinning to maximize profits. Oh yeah! Cha -ching! Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm already fully powered up with fire. <laughs> uh, now we're going back down. Oh shoot! Uh, I missed the red. Oh well. <laughs> I was gonna say I missed the red coin stuff and stuff, but well, whatever. It isn't really all that important uh, in comparison to this right here. That Koopa there, it's it's kind of hard to time. Just kind of kind of imagine it going to the right as you jump off that um, spin block and do this sequence here. If you don't do this properly, you're going to have to go through the pipe below and you don't want to do that because there's a star coin in here and you'll be all disappointed. You'll be like, oh, where did I miss the star coin? Well, here's where you missed that star coin because you didn't do the puzzle, dang it. <laughs> here's a neat wall kick segment for coins, like entirely wall kick based, which is pretty neat. And it, this is probably a good place to practice your wall kicks, actually, if you aren't uh, all that good at it. But then again, it's World 6-6, so you better be good at them by now. <laughs> and this is where the uh, other pipe uh, below the secret pipe led to, uh, if you uh, couldn't make it there. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, if you... Um, if I don't take that pipe, excuse me. So, yeah. Now I gotta go up. And keep going up. <laughs> Keep going up. Uh, I think there's a cannon guessing segment here. Uh, I think it was this one that gives you the one up on the top of the flagpole. Mm, I was correct. Yeah. Woo. Voila. And that one's done. Let's finish off this world by doing the castle now. Yep. Six Dash Castle with 99 lives. Do you think I will run out of lives? Perhaps. There's a very good chance that I'll run out of lives. Okay, maybe not. I lied. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically the moving platform castle and it's based off of... I guess you could say awkward point coin grabbing because this level is not all that difficult unless you try and get said coin. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get that that way, <laughs> but it worked. I'll take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. These platforms are at uh, two different speeds, and I gotta get down there for the coin. Plus, I took a shell with me, of which I would have thrown from above. But that's actually probably easier to jump to jump down to it than to take a shell. Uh, isn't there... Oh, shoot. I thought there was... Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of a later spot. I think there's something hidden above a, 
Oh, it's right here. This is the spot that has something hidden above the ceiling. You gotta get up here first of all. And see that Koopa over there? Save that Koopa. Let's try and time it so that you hit... Oops. Well, now I gotta wait for it to recover. You need to get above that, basically. And you need the help of ye old Koopa. Come on, wake up. There you go. Good boy. And no oh, shoot. I got frightened by the turtle. <laughs> What's in here? Just coins. Uh, how do I get back up there? Dang it. Oh, wait. There's a moving platform there. It's gotta be... There we go! Oh, jeez! <laughs> that was close. Okay, let's time this better this time. Do not flub the Koopa jump. Good, PK Gam. Good! And there's the last star coin. Getting down, watch yourself, because you don't know exactly where your sprite is. Well, you might, if you have the feel of where he is on screen. But yeah, uh, those first two are obviously easier if you're small Mario, but it's possible to do them as uh, any sized Mario. Ooh, a little bit more to go. The door was slightly misleading and making you think that a boss was going to be beyond it, but no, there's still more. Still more. Which is good, because we can hear more of this awesome boss music. I mean, <laughs> level music. Castle music. Mm, oh jeez! Behold the boss, known as Monty Tank. Three hits and it's done. I, what I recommend you do is hit it, um, hit it like once and then uh, ground pound it after the first hit just to finish it off because the third hit's really difficult to do it. Um, but I'm gonna, I mean, if the third hit's difficult to do um, if you if you have to get a third hit in, uh, basically because as you see, it got another layer of shenanigans there and yeah <laughs> so the issue with that is now it's harder to jump up to it which is why you want to ground pound it for the um, second hit so that you can just kill it outright but I'd like to show you um, all three forms of this I guess you could say and watch oh, watch the cannons when it goes crazy actually couldn't I just duck underneath them I'm pretty sure I could the only thing like I can't duck under are the uh, uh, ba bombs ex explosions. So maybe it's yeah, it's it's one square above the ground, so I could uh, definitely duck under it. All oh, poopers, all oh, poopers, go away. <laughs> Wait, fire middle cannon, perfect. Aha! I win. Give me a key. Give me a key. Give me a key. Oh, the key always appears on the right side of the screen. That's how I always know where to stand uh, when it's popping out of the boss. Yes, I will save, but I will not go to World 8 just yet, because there's a whole World 7 here to do. Starting with... 7-1! <laughs> so it's a sky world of sorts, and there's moving platforms. Down is death, as is the nature of a sky world. Um, when, you're, when you're trying to get a um, power up when you're on a moving platform like that, get on the front of the platform and hit the box from there. That way you'll have uh, more let for the platform to uh, you know jump back to. By the way, it looks like I missed that star coin, but oh no, 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 ho, 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 no. PK Gam doesn't miss anything. <laughs> well, okay, I miss stuff sometimes. Uh, but what I mean is, I will eventually 100% it. By the way, just ride this angel block. Like, seriously, ride it all the way to the right. Don't even worry about the platforms. The platforms are dead to you. You don't want those platforms whatsoever because they are completely misleading. I mean, they will get you to the end of the level, but they won't get you to the secret pipe. Yeah, that's a pretty diabolical little hiding spot. <laughs> you could also probably jump there with um, Mini Mario, but uh, eh, I don't really like going externally to complete a level if I can help it. Because, you know, having to go outside a level to get a power up and yeah. Go. Ooh, that was kind of weird. <laughs> and I think there's a one up over here. Boop. Yes. Delicious one up that I do not need. Should probably give it to Zesty or something so she can make food out of it. Oh no, the flame chomps. They like to shoot fire at you, and they are a pain, even though they're not 
actually resistant to fire for some reason. It's kind of funny. There's a lot of Mario enemies that shoot fire, but not are, but not are actually res oops, resistant to fire. Bloop, see? <laughs> oh, almost lost it. Anyway, third coin coming up soon. Boop. Ha ha! Oop, oop. Wait, did I miss the third coin? Because... Oh yeah, you have to play this level twice because of the third coin. I forgot about that! Because you either, um... You either go on the angel block and ride it over to that secret pipe, or you take the other path uh, through the pipe, and what happens is it leads you to the third coin. But as a result of that, you miss out on one coin each run. It's kind of kind of mean, but that's the design, I suppose. Gotta can't really say that all levels are perfect. <laughs> I don't I don't know of a game that is absolutely perfect though. Like even my favorite game, Super Mario Galaxy, I can find flaws in it. Like some some places in Galaxy, the gravity just doesn't work um, all that well. Such as on. Uh, the uh, Mecha, Mecha uh, Bowser in that Toyland place, I forgot its name offhand. Uh, I can't think of it, yeah. <laughs> you probably know which one I'm thinking of though, uh, if you played the game before. Um, if you don't take that angel block though, it actually could cause you some issues. Like, it's actually more of an obstacle than anything if you- oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, alright, I made it. Now, this pipe leads to a different spot, yeah, well, I, well not, I shouldn't say it's a different spot, it leads you behind the spot that we came out of when we took the secret path, but we need to offset these platforms a little bit and stay on the upper path. It just, I mean, offsetting platforms just make things a whole lot easier so that you can jump uh, from one platform to the other, like, here, and this is where the paths joined up. Um, I don't really care about the red coins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully powered up. I got 99 lives. Just be honest here. Not really caring too much about the score. Oh yeah, flame chomps. When they run out of fire, they actually explode like a bomb. bomb they're, kind of, they're a pretty weird enemy. <laughs> and also a very unexpected enemy. Like, you really don't know what they're gonna do before they do it. Second time is the charm, I guess. <laughs> Alright, that one is complete. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do this. This part, because it's a ghost house and it has a secret exit. And that, that could be an issue, but this part's kind of short. So let's see how it goes, I suppose. Oh boy, I'm going to regret this. Oh wait, no wait, this is actually an easy one. Um, over here, uh, there's a switch. And once you hit it, five doors will pop out. Now what you gotta do is clear out all the doors of stuff. This is the gel room, I guess you could say. You gotta ground pound to get into it. Yeah, it's a pretty weird room. But it's a ghost house, so it fits right in. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lemon jello. Delicious. <laughs> Though it probably should be refrigerated. Alright, that one's clear. I think the last one I want to take is the bottom right one. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong though. Whoop, more jello. No! <laughs> and there's the first coin. Yeah, since the doors are just, you know, everywhere, just take them in any order. And uh, it doesn't really matter what order you get the coins in because there's no real order to uh, this ghost house. Uh, see those hands? See those hands? They're pointing something out. They're, they're pointing something out, but I'm not gonna not gonna bother with that just yet. Oh, act actually, I probably should have, because that that actually leads not leads to um, it leads. Ah, I said leads again. Uh, I was thinking of another room that does actually have something that leads to something else. And yeah, yeah, I know. I went in the wrong door. <laughs> oh shoot! I actually went in the wrong door again. What? Which? I already forgot which door had that particular room. Ah, uh, I want to hit. The poopers. Well, took the hit, so I might as well just... Or not. <laughs> I was gonna take advantage of my flashy time, but... Nope, that failed. Now I gotta redo the level. <laughs> it's fine, no. Bloop. Gimme, 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 Yum, 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 yum. Alright, and... Bloop. That 
shouldn't be shouldn't take me too long to redo this I'll be able to focus more on where the doors go again uh, this time I suppose I think that boo was placed there so that makes it more annoying to ground pound to that uh, star coin there but really boos aren't that much of an issue if you know how to lead them around Okay, I'm gonna be careful this time. There we go. See what you can do when you're careful. Oh, and I think the door that I went into that had the hands was uh, this door. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I can't believe I forgot that already. I love how booze are sometimes in boxes. <laughs> okay, see they're pointing out something? See that? See that? See that? See that? See that? Yep, they point out boxes. Anything hidden, basically. And once you hit it, they just keep pointing at it for some reason. <laughs> uh, now this one right here. This is a completely optional room as far as I can tell. It's like a trap room, I guess you could say. But I failed to get through it. But I wanted to get through it just to show you the room. Anyway, group the booze together if I, if you can. And uh, yep, makes things a whole lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, now the final door. Should I do the secret exit first or the regular exit? Probably the regular exit. I'm gonna go through this door. And it leads back here. So it's a false door. What you really want to do is hit this. And this will make platforms appear. You don't really need that springboard. That's just there, I guess, to make sure that you get to the platforms before time runs out. Now, here we have a... Um, super, I think it's super, wait, super Mario World or Mario 3 that had something like this. In that you have two paths go to left or right after you hit the switch, and you can only take one per run, obviously. So I'm going to take this one because it leads to the regular exit, and the last coin, because I like to get all the coins, Ooh, that was close, in one run. Really, really close. Alright, now for the secret exit, it'll be really, really easy to just run through the level, because I, I already got all the star coins, so, yeah... I need to... Oh, so close! So, so close! Gotta jump at the height of the angel blocks uh, fluttering. So there's the regular exit and all three star coins. And that's of course going to lead to 7-2. Secret exit's gonna give you a big shortcut. And now... This is what I mean about just being able to rush through this. <laughs> Go straight for that. Don't even have to go through the uh, other doors. And now we go to. Oh, the platforms were offset this time. Oh well. The, it gives you plenty of time to get up to this door. And yes, this door will vanish as well, if I'm not mistaken. Now for the secret. You have to have a sharp eye for this. You're, you're looking for a block that sheens a little bit in this route. Look closely. Yep, see that right there? It's a vine. And go up it. Over here is a door. This door leads to the secret exit. Ha 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 ha. Wait a second. Is there anything? No, it's just a platform jump. Oh, probably should have had a running jump, but... Um, past that vine leads to a door. And that door is pretty much a loop. I'll, but I'll show you that um, little pathway anyway. Just because, I mean, did you see how fast I got to that? Sheesh. <laughs> it, mm, mm, one step, go in this door. Two step, go hit this block. Go. I'm on the block. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Third step, hit the switch and run, 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 run. Oh, made it. Fourth step, go in the door. Fifth step, hit the switch. Run, 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 run for six. I don't know what I'm even saying here. <laughs> and you see this door right here. Go in this door. This door. Yep, leads you back here. <laughs> so we're done here. Wait, what? Wait, no, there we go. He's hitting, hitting the wrong button. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.